Hey friend, how are you? Um, I've got something for you. I, I was just about to go to bed actually, and this thought came into my mind, something that is so powerful. I really want to share it with you tonight before I go to bed. So that's why I'm doing this video kind of late at night. Um, so if you're following me for microdosing, that means you want to improve your life in some way, whether you have anxiety, depression, PTSD, insomnia, um, panic attacks, the list goes on and on and on and on. But um, not only that, some people are microdosing because you want to be um, more spiritual, you want to be more mindful, you want to um, um, be more accepting of other people and uh, living beings and things like that. So there are all kinds of reasons to to microdose magic mushrooms. But um, something I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an assignment. Let's just say this here you have this is your first homework assignment, and it is I, I guarantee you it's life changing. Um, no matter how old you are or how young you are, it doesn't really matter. Um, here's what I want you to do. I want you to um, on a day that you microdose, and if you even want to take a little bit more. Um, just go with it, go with it. Remember, this is not medical advice now, this is friend talking to friends, so, um, but, but if you wanna take a little extra in, uh, in addition to a microdose, I want you to put this on. Are you ready? It's a record called, well, so th those of you that are old like me know this, it's a record called um, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by the Beatles. It's uh, one of the best albums that's ever come out. This was released in 1967. Um, I've got it on vinyl because I've got like a, a really good vinyl collection. Um, I stopped playing vinyl in the 80s or 90s, um, but now that it's 2021, almost 2022, um, I've been really diving back into vinyl. This is like a brand new, um, let's say, uh, remix of um, Sgt. Pepper. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful album. And um, it just goes along with the culture um, where the Beatles were really probably at the height of experimenting with um, psychedelic drugs. And every track on this album is just unbelievable. There's not a dud on the album. Um, and I want you to listen to it. Now, the best time, it, it's, it's like meditation. The best time to listen to it, in my opinion, the best time to listen to it is into the evening after you've eaten your dinner, before you go to bed, if you're just like kind of chilling, relaxing, I want you to put it on. Now you probably, chances are you probably don't have vinyl, you probably don't have a, uh, a turntable, but you can stream it, you can listen to it on CD, you know, and you can listen to it on from YouTube. But I'm gonna really recommend that you either have a um, really, really, um, high quality set of speakers and a good system. Um, and if you don't, just use your iPhone or Droid, whatever you have, and, and use a really, really, uh, I mean, a really high quality set of headphones or, or earbuds. They've gotta be high quality. They can't just be some piece of junk because I really want you to listen to every song very carefully, concentrate on the music, um, and the only way you can really do that is if you've got some quality piece of equipment uh, that's getting that, what the Beatles wanted you to hear exactly into your ears and then of course into your brain. Um, I grew up with this. I grew up with the Beatles. So I was, I think I was in like the best generation to really um, get, in, get into this stuff. But, but um, my kids like the Beatles and good because they grew up with me listening to the Beatles. So if you say, well, no, this is just not my generation. I don't believe in it. I don't like it. It's, I'm too young for this. I'm too old for this. Whatever the excuse you have, stop right now. Stop with the excuses. There's no, the Beatles are, uh, they cross all generations. There's no such thing as I'm not, I'm not the Beatles generation. There's no such thing. Um, they will last well after we're gone. Uh, it's, you can't really, I, I can't really describe this to you. Um, the Beatles have a lot of songs, a lot of albums. I don't want you to listen to a greatest hits. That's not going to do it. Every song on this album, Sgt. Pepper, was um, placed in a certain order, in a certain way. There's a, there's a reason for it. Um, they've got, their, every album by the Beatles is really good. But, but if you want to start with something, I'm going to recommend Sgt. Pepper. Um, 
but you can't go wrong listening to any of them. However, I would suggest listening to at least something no earlier than, um, let's say, Rubber Soul, because that's when they, again, that's when they really started getting into their, I, I think, like really, really creative, creative thoughts and creative times. And again, the, with the um, experimentation with um, psychedelics and, um, and marijuana, and it just, it really just made their music something, uh, I'm just gonna say unbelievable, unbelievable. This will change your life it's almost impossible to be depressed when listening to this. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Now that doesn't mean listening to a Beatles album is gonna fix what's going on in your in your mind and, and, and in your mental health. It's, it's not gonna fix it, but is it gonna help it? Yes, it's gonna help it. Uh, along with microdosing or along with doing even maybe a, a larger dose, um, it's, it's gonna be beautiful and you're gonna thank me for it. So, Start thanking me now. If you, I, I want you to, at the very least, try this out and send me a comment um, and let me know how it went for you. And you can't just do it once. You've got to do it a lot. Many nights. Many nights before you go to bed. Not just this album, but there are plenty of other Beatles albums that are just... What can I say? I, I've, been, I've been a music fan for forever. But the Beatles are just a group that... Um, how can I say this? It just works. You'll, you'll see what I mean when you, if you, if you take this homework assignment and do it, you will totally understand what I'm talking about. Uh, that's all I have to say. Please let me know what you think. Um, until next time, I'm Dr. Dave. See you later.